Hello, and thank you for joining me today. This is the first in a series of one-on-one -on -one interviews that I will do as the 2022 president for the Atlanta Realtors Association. My name is Karen Hatcher, and I'm super excited to be with you today. Today, we have the pleasure of interviewing President Bilal Sharif, who is the 2021 and 2022 president for the Empire Board of Realtors. Thank you so much for being here with me today. It's a pleasure to have the opportunity to be here with you. I'm so excited to tell our members all about Empire Board of Realtors and why it is so important to our real estate community. So tell us, what is the Empire Board of Realtors and what is a Realtist? Well, the Empire Board of Realtors is the eldest minority real estate trade association founded in 1939 out of necessity. It was founded by seven African-American real estate brokers. Because of different uh, discriminatory practices in real estate, you know, they were formed in an effort to ensure democracy in housing and fair housing for all. You know, uh, what it means to be a realtor is someone that is a member of the Empire Board of Realtors or is a member of our national organization, the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. And it was actually founded in 1947, eight years after the Empire Board was founded, when like organizations around the country got together and then formed the national organization, also known as NARAD. Wow, so that is so powerful. So the Realtors were formed when members of color, specifically African-American people, were not allowed to be realtor members. And so the National Association of Real Estate Brokers was founded. And I understand I read about how NARAB led the charge on fair housing legislation. Can you tell me about that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. One of our uh, very own, I think it was uh, uh, QB Williamson, called him the chief was a part of that uh, writing the act on you know, related to fair housing in 1968. And NARAD was a pivotal player in that legislation as well. Um, historically, we've always been a part of uh, championing different legislation or, or, or uh, regulations around real estate practices. And uh, I also had an opportunity in 2019 to literally walk to the halls of the Capitol, the U.S. Capitol, and, speak to uh, senators and elected officials to get them to further support things related to the way they do the uh, loan debt calculation and the student loans we were a part of that uh, as well as some of the other savings plans that they're trying to you know mirror to, you know for uh, to save for home ownership it was kind of like the, the college savings plan so it's like different things we get a chance to actually walk those halls and influence that also equate to fair housing as well as equal access to housing for all. Wow, that's amazing. So tell me, why was Empire so significant to our real estate community here in Atlanta? I mean, you you really think about it, man. I can only start to tell you just a snippet of some of the stories uh, that I've heard. And even right behind us, you see, you know, a lot of the pictures on the walls and you know, literally, we want white tenants in our community. No kids, no blacks, no Latinos. These are real images. These are real things that happen, not only in Atlanta, but other surrounding areas. And Empire and their contributions to Atlanta real estate, especially for minorities, I mean, it was just, I mean, I can't even begin to measure how much impact it has really had. I mean, you look at some of our uh, award scalers and banquets. It was a very strong organization to the point where we had past mayor uh, Ambassador Andrew Young in the picture, also with past mayor Maynard Jackson, also with the uh, president that was president-elect Jimmy Carter at this at the same time. Picture with some of the Empire Board's leadership at our gala that just you know go to show the type of influence we had within Atlanta and even you know on a global scale as well. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I don't know, you can see some of those photos behind us. Uh, 
every time I see something like that, it just takes me to a place where I'm just so grateful that we have had people in realtors like we see on this wall here that have paved the way for us to be able to, especially as black people here in Atlanta that are selling real estate, to be able to sell real estate and own homes and have fair housing rights that now extend beyond people of color where there are other protected classes that are now benefiting from that legislation that has been put in place that was started by the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. And to also note that there are still some classes of people that are, it would be considered a code of ethics violation as a realtor if you discriminated against those groups. However, in specific states like the state of Georgia, you are still legally allowed to discriminate against those groups. So it takes advocacy and it takes people like realtors who to just take these moments to acknowledge them and recognize the work that they have done and the contributions that have been made to the real estate industry as a whole. So thank you for that history. Yes, indeed. Like I said, there are just so many stories. I mean, the very first broker that I affiliated my license with, Mr. T.J. Locke from Apollo Associates Realty. I mean, he talks about the stories when he literally one time was running out and had his head busted from somebody throwing a rock at him just trying to show some real estate. Wow. You know, he actually was the second African-American to gain access to the multiple listing service after the uh, lawsuit was won that the Empire Board actually had to file with the multiple listing service so that the person can have access to uh, the real estate forms without being affiliated with the real tour organization. He was the second African-American that had access to that. But I mean, just hearing some of those stories, the way that there's a Peyton Street bridge where you couldn't go past it and sell real estate if you're African-American and Empire Board was instrumental in having that barricade and that bridge literally removed that allowed African-Americans to start selling real estate on that side of the town right here in Southwest Atlanta. And like I said, the stories just go on and on. So why was it important for you to become a member of the Realtors when you started practicing real estate? Well, I mean, it, it was very important for me for a couple reasons, not only to pay homage, you know, and honor those that, you know, didn't have uh, as much access or easier access to get into the real estate industry as I, I did, and also to continue that, 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 that fight for democracy and housing because it's not open. There are different things and overlays that are put in place and that we still have continued to have to fight the good fight. And so to be able to continue to push for democracy and uh, housing, uh, fair housing for all, but then also advocate for more economic opportunities for people that look like me and you within their real estate arena, it was, was, those were the things that really drew me to the organization. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, and thank you for your service. Uh, to the you. Empire Board. It's it's pretty incredible in your leadership. So that's part of the reasons why we've done this, why we did this video today. So I got licensed in 2007 and I didn't, didn't know anything about the National Association of Real Estate Brokers or Empire. And this is not taught, right, in your sales pre-license course. So it's important that we understand that the National Association of Realtors, NAR, has partnerships with affiliate groups and the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, which Empire Board of Realtors is a chapter group of? Yes, one of the local boards. One of the local boards under NARAB. It's important that our members know that we do have these chapters here locally and that you can be members of both. So mm -hmm. when I found out about Empire Board of Realtors years ago, I joined as a member. <laughs> we're glad to have you as a member as you know we talk about things even in the history of back of the day but we also have to take time to acknowledge the history that's being made today so i want to give kudos to you for being you know the first african-american female to preside over the atlanta realtor association and to do everything that you're pushing to make sure that you know we're at the table and make sure that we're furthering the you know democracy and how Thank you. I appreciate that. It's if we're going, if we are all going to be realtor members and we're advocating for housing 
for all and private property rights for all, we as realtors have to understand the needs of all groups of people, whether they are African-American, Hispanic, Asian-American, LGBTQ, all of these minority groups have challenges as it relates to purchasing homes and owning homes in our country. So we won't be able to advocate for those issues if we don't know what they are. So thank you again for that, I appreciate it. Well, we want all of our members to know that you can also be members of both. <laughs> so if you identify with what Empire Board of Realtors believes in, how can someone become a member of Empire Board of Realtors? They can become a member by going to the website at www.empireboard.com. And don't just become a member. You can go on there and also join the committee. We have different committees. We have other councils that we've started and created to help people get into specialized areas within real estate. We have a very active commercial council that's had, been led by you know some of our leaders from T. Dallas Smith and Company historically. There'll be some other individuals starting to lead that council as well. It also gives a person a seat at the Atlanta Commercial Board of Realtors. And you know, we're about to have one of our own T. Dallas Smith actually as president led of president elect of Atlanta Commercial Board of Realtors. So shout out to us. T. Dallas Smith and Company, one of our other realtors. Um, we have government contracting councils that people can be a part of. One of our own, Stacey Mollison, past president, utilized her experience within the Empire Board leadership to start that. And now we have multiple individuals that have benefited off government contract, contracts in excess of 60 and $80 million you know, contracts. Um, we're just starting our International Investment Council and. We have quite a few things that are going on that everybody can really benefit from and we really look forward to having y'all as a member and getting active with some of these committees and councils and being a part of both organizations because quite a few of us are realtors as well. So what are some of the goals for Empire Board of Realtors this year and how can we as realtors help? Well, some of our goals is not only to increase our membership, but also to increase our collaboration with other civic and faith-based organizations as well as the Realtor organizations. So I think we've already kind of started it preliminarily. I know we have some things that we're trying to tighten up and memorialize from a, uh, a paperwork and kind of a memorandum standpoint. So as we continue to push those things forward, I think just more collaboration even with some of the educational offerings and uh, some of the things that are done at the orientation to be a realtor to make sure the realtors organization is, you know, mentioned inside of that presentation, I think will be uh, also monumental. And uh, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, we're, we're pushing out some of our, I think we've provided y'all some of our uh, fundraising packet and things because we're actually looking to redevelop this building as well. So any efforts to uh, participate in our capital campaign to redevelop this building into a whole community home ownership and resource center, or even hub for other nonprofits, you know, any efforts to collaborate or push those goals forward would be greatly appreciated. Awesome, thank you so much, President Sharif. We are here at the Empire Board of Realtors in the West End, right down the street from the Atlanta University Center. Thank you so much for all the work you've done within our community and within our real estate industry with advancing real estate industry initiatives and supporting our industry and home ownership for all democracy and housing through the Atlanta Board of Realtors here in the city of Atlanta. Thank, thank you again. Thank you for having me.